In this video, we're going to be talking about the truth about HVAC repairs. We're going to be talking about repairing your system versus replacing your system. We're going to be talking about the pros and cons of both, things to look out for, and more. But before we get started, if you haven't done so already, please smash that like button for the algorithm and consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. We put out daily content on how you can get the best HVAC for your home. So if that's something that interests you, subscribing is a free way that you can show support if you get value from this content. So first off, let's talk about the repair versus replacement question. This is one of the most common questions we get asked when we're looking at servicing older systems that might have an, an expensive repair that's on the table and customers want to know whether or not they should repair the system or replace the system and how to best go about making that decision. And I'll start by saying I'm going to obviously point out my obvious bias, which is that I am an HVAC technician, HVAC company owner. And so my bias, assuming that the system is at an age where it's irreparable or it's a, a very expensive repair, I'm always going to lean towards system replacement for a couple of reasons that will talk about in this video, but I'm going to give you both sides of the coin so that you can make a decision for yourself on when repairing a system versus replacing this system is going to be the best option. Now, if you have really simple repairs, and I'm talking about something like a capacitor or a contactor that might not be that expensive, and it's the end of summer and you're just trying to get through the summer before you figure out what you want to do next, doesn't make sense to spend money on that capacitor or contactor. At the end of the day, are you going to lose sleep over, you know, a few hundred bucks that you spend to get, you know, a technician out to diagnose? and repair a system? Probably not. So doing a minor repair is always going to be something that's an option. But when you get to a certain age of system that's, let's say, 20 years old or older, and it's going to vary by market because each region, for example, if you're in Houston, Texas, and you're right on the coast, you know, that thing gets beat up by the salt water. For example, let's say you were in Galveston, which is just outside of Houston. It might only last for 10 years because of the amount of wear and tear that air conditioning systems get in that market. And the reason that air conditioning systems in Houston get so much wear and tear is because it's so humid and so it's running constantly just to dehumidify the space in addition to keeping the air at a comfortable temperature. And these types of scenarios, sometimes if you've budgeted for system replacement and your system is at that age where it's time to replace it, which might be the 10 year mark, might be the 20 year mark, it just depends. Again, it's going to vary from market to market. Then even if it's a minor repair, sometimes it makes sense if you're prepared to make the investment on a newer system to just save that money spend it on a new system because in the long run, it's going to save you money versus getting nickel and dimed by a lot of repairs. The main purpose of this video is when we're talking about a major repair, like a compressor replacement or something that involves a broken evaporator coil, where you have to replace the whole coil, recover all the refrigerant, recharge the refrigerant, recommission the system and start it back up. That can be a very expensive because it's a very time consuming repair. I'm going to talk about kind of the benefits of replacing a system from the perspective of a technique and why I like it. And money aside, if both options were free to you, free to me, and we lived in a utopian society where we just all did what we love for free every single day, I would still lean towards replacement. And the reason is that you're going to have less problems. Now, as a technician, my nemesis is callbacks or warranty calls. I absolutely cannot stand when we have a system that goes down. We were out, you know, let's say a year ago or six months ago, and then it's out again. And this is very, very common on old systems that have had expensive repairs done to them. So when you replace a system's coil or a system's compressor, the worst call that you could possibly get is that the next year you go back out there and now the another major component, like if the compressor went out the year before, now the evaporator coil went bad. That's just not news that you want to share with a customer because the combined cost of those repairs, you're over halfway to a new system or even the cost of a new system at that point. In this instance, I really don't like repairing those systems for that reason that it's breaking down. It's breaking down when the customer needs it, which is typically in the middle of summer or the middle of, of winter in the case of a heating system. That's why my bias always leans towards system replacement is because it's going to be more reliable for you in the long run and you're going to have less problems. The number one benefit of replacing your system is number one, it's going to be more reliable, hands down. Uh, number two, this is an aside and this will vary depending on which system you get. Almost all systems that you install are going to be more efficient than what you have installed now. And the reason is, is because the efficiency requirements are updated or every few years where they change the efficiency requirements. So the minimum system you used to be able to install might have been eight SEER, whereas now the minimum system SEER rating that you can install is 14 SEER. And so that's close to a 50% increase in efficiency. I think it's technically, I'm doing math. It's actually over 50% going from an eight SEER to a 14 SEER. So if you have a really old system, that jump in efficiency is going to be something 
something that saves you money every month. The system's also going to be quieter. It's going to be more comfortable in your home and it's just going to be a better option. So that's the second reason replacement is going to be the better option versus repairing an older system. And the third reason we like to recommend replacement is that a lot of times people are unhappy with their current system or there's things that they wish was better about. Like the most common complaint we get is that their system is noisy and they would love a quieter system. If you ask my dad about his neighbor's air conditioner, he'll tell you that's what he doesn't like about it the most. I was like, well, maybe you should get him a new air conditioner for Christmas or Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever. But the bottom line is that if your system is broken and you're looking at an expensive repair, it can be a good opportunity to upgrade it to a newer high efficiency system that's also a lot quieter and or more comfortable and has other features that your current system did not have. That's really the third and final reason that I would consider looking at system replacement as a better option versus just repairing an old system that would be due for replacement. Now, when is repairing a system a good option? Because guess what? Sometimes repairing a system is a great option and I'm gonna talk about that now, but before before we do, if you haven't done so already, please again, consider subscribing to the channel. It's a free way that you can show support if you've gotten value from this and it is much appreciated. But that being said, repairing a system can still be a great option in certain scenarios. And the number one scenario is when you're looking for the cheapest possible option because you're planning on moving or you're not sure if how long you're going to be in the home. So if you're planning on moving in the next few years or next few months, or maybe the home is listed for sale, obviously going with the repair is going to be the best option because the repair will at least limp the system long enough until you move and you can decide what you want to do later. If you end up deciding to stay in the home for an extended period of time, you can always upgrade at a later date, but just look at it as kind of an insurance premium that you're paying for, for the peace of mind, knowing that you're not making a major investment when you have uncertainty about whether or not you're going to be in the home for a long period of time. Now, depending on the repair that you're doing, some of the repairs, for example, if we have a capacitor go out and there's not currently a hard start kit on the system, which a hard start or a soft start kit, depending on how you call it, which is really just a run capacitor that assists the compressor on startup. Little repairs like this or additions can actually help prolong the life of the equipment. So if a technician comes out and the system's not working and it's something simple like a capacitor or a contactor, but there's a few other recommended repairs that they look at. For example, you have a dirty condenser coil or a dirty evaporator coil, and they recommend doing a chemical cleaning on either of those coils. Certain things like this can improve the efficiency of the equipment and also prolong its life so it lasts a little bit longer. And so that's something to consider if you're on the fence or if it's just a minor repair especially because at least a minor repair can get you up and running. You don't have to make the decision about what type of equipment you should be buying. But if you are in the market for system replacement or your system is repaired and after watching this video or the reason you're watching this video is because your system is due for repair, you've come to the right place because on this channel, we talk about HVAC system replacement and the different types of systems that are available. So in a moment, there'll be a few videos popping up that YouTube thinks you should watch. But before that, if you happen to be in one of the markets that we service, there's actually a link below where you can click to schedule online. And if you're outside one of the markets that we service, but would still like to work with a contractor that we hand select and help you find, we have a program that is in a soft launch beta at this time where we are pairing homeowners with contractors that install heat pumps that work specifically in your market or geothermal systems or a variety of other types of systems that might be more specialized or even if you're just looking for a good solid reputable contractor in your area uh, that's why we created that program and again this isn't a beta soft launch program so if you have interest in that uh, there's zero cost to you there's a link in the description to the hvacdopeshow.com and if you submit an inquiry there we will work to find a contractor in your area that has both a great reputation and also is skilled in the specific services that you're looking for. And as promised earlier, there's a few videos popping up on the screen right now that YouTube thinks you should watch as well as a few other videos about HVAC system replacement options. So make sure you check those out if you haven't done so already and we will catch you on the next episode.